What's going on? My name is Zach Kenny, and this is our Van Hoagie. For over a decade now, my wife and I have dreamt of having a rig of our own. And after countless adventures, both big and small, and of course, the record-breaking Utah winter of 2023, we finally decided to trade in that faithful Tacoma for this Ford Transit 350. And after building the van out to be a place that we could live, work, eat, and explore with, we finally hit the road. So follow along because simply put, adventure doesn't find you. Our maiden voyage, or test run if you will, took us west where we spent our Thanksgiving on the Pacific Ocean and bouncing around Southern California. But not before stopping in Las Vegas for the newest, biggest F1 race of the season. So we're wrapping up our time here in Vegas and it was an incredible first weekend in the van. Uh, at the 19th hour on Thursday, we headed down, we wrapped up all the last things and left Park City at like seven o'clock at night and got down to Hurricane, Utah near St. George at like 1.30 in the morning. Friday we drove um, in the afternoon, got down to Vegas and had a whirlwind of a trip, pretty rad. Headed down to see the track on Friday then up to Fremont and then back down to the strip for the race. And even though tickets were like a thousand some odd dollars uh, in the grandstands, you could just walk the strip and see the race. And so we watched the entire race from a bar right across from Caesars uh, and they had it on 25 screens and everyone was packed and it was pretty rad. And, uh, it was free. I mean, that was pretty crazy. And you could just hear all the cars going by. See the dust get kicked up. Um, it was unbelievable. And it was an amazing race where Verstappen actually had to race, which was the first time all season. So that was awesome. And more importantly, the van was amazing and some of the best sleep we've ever had camping because we have a real bed that turns into a recliner. Next up, we are headed to Cambria, California to go to camp on the coast. Uh, the Thanksgiving week. All right, it's Monday of our first trip. Uh, we left Vegas and it was awesome. Uh, we made it six and a half hours to Cambria, California, which is on the coast, which is somewhere between LA and uh, San Francisco. So like right in that I guess, central coast, is that what it's called? Um, so we're up in a campground, it's primitive and it's awesome. It's up on the hill, I think it's like one mile down to the water. Um, so not right on the water, but... In lieu of going to one of the wineries, we uh, picked up one of the local wineries wine for a significantly cheaper price than they were offering at the winery and it's off to a great start. Our days in Cambria were spent trying to find the best parking areas to work from all day. And I think we scored some good ones, right along the water or sometimes at the beach. Well, while it's snowing back home, ride on the coast here. I passed uh, two French bike packers earlier today and they were complaining about that the coastline doesn't change for uh, the past week that they've been riding. And uh, Obviously I've never done it but that sounds perfect to me. This is uh, pretty wild. And, uh, much much different than Utah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how a place you've never heard of before let alone known anybody who's ever been to it can turn out to somehow be your new favorite place to visit. Well, that's exactly what happened when we got to Morro Bay. An old harbor town surrounding a pinnacle rock in the middle of the ocean was an amazing time to say the least. The beaches here were dog friendly, which meant Gregor also had a new favorite place to go. He ran all around the sand and into the water, loving every minute of it. And beyond the beach, the town was super dog friendly as well, with pups getting to hang out in local breweries too. When we were walking, we're coming to beaches for sand dollars. I was donning my wetsuit on and heading into the chilly Pacific Ocean and shaking off the rust and getting out surfing as much as I possibly could. It was a plus that our Motel 6 we stayed at was only two blocks away from the beach. And no, the shots aren't of me, but 
I like to think I look something like that. It really doesn't take much for us to enjoy spending time at the beach. Especially after being away from it for so long, living in the landlocked state of Utah. But the California beaches just hit differently. Maybe it's because of the warm weather year round, but the beaches seem to be a part of everyone's daily life, not just a vacation spot in summer. But one of the most memorable parts of the trip was getting to see the resident sea otters hanging out in the bay. These critters are so damn cute, and it's just funny to see them play around just like dogs do. Our last part of our trip took us east to a few wineries near Paso Robles before heading back home. This was our first experience using Harvest Host, where you actually get to stay for free at wineries, farms, and other businesses, and it was perfect. Luckily, we had enough time to take a detour through Death Valley National Park. To say this place was a massive, expansive desert scape would be an understatement, especially with the huge sand dunes that cover one end of the park. Subtle changes in the landscape were mostly visible through the surrounding mountains, noticing that each mountain seemed to be made of a different rock being various colors as we drove through the park. To be honest, this was a perfect way to end our first trip in the van, culminating in a desire to get back in the van and hit the road once again. A mere 15 days later for what would be the longest trip of our lives. <laughs> 